How's it going everyone? It's Sam. I want to talk to you about all the penny stocks that I hold. And this is for a couple different reasons. First of all, it's to show you you can make really good gains in penny stocks. But second of all, it's to show you penny stocks are very risky. So we've been picking out a lot of ones that have done really well. But I want to show you that they are still a small percentage of my portfolio. And you'll kind of see parts of my portfolio. I won't go into my whole portfolio here. But uh, they... they are a very small part and I'll kind of break down how much that is but uh, I want to walk you through each of them kind of talk to you about the companies and why I like them maybe a little bit but a lot of it's going to be just talking about which companies I hold and our gains and stuff like that so if you guys like this please leave a thumbs up I appreciate it please hit subscribe if you haven't already done that you could be the 90,000th subscriber which would mean the world to me so I really appreciate that also if you want to check out there's a link down there to Webull you can trade stocks and buy stocks on there you can buy Bitcoin on there as of a couple months ago and if you sign up and deposit $100 you can get up to $3,700 in free stocks just make sure you deposit the $100 and if you want to know what I buy and sell real time uh, definitely check out the link down below to Patreon so we're growing there very quickly. I think we're around 4,100 uh, Patreon members there. So definitely check that out. So we're going to start in my Fidelity portfolio. Now, one thing that I would say, first of all, I'm not a tax professional. I'm not a financial advisor, but I would try to do this in a tax advantaged account so you don't have to pay taxes if you're holding for a very short amount of time. So this is in a 401k portfolio that I have. The first company I want to talk about is Sens, and it's a company that I bought last week. It's a really interesting one that I've actually been adding more. So what Sens does is they have a continuous glucose monitoring system. I saw that there were some positive catalysts, and I won't go through the companies really in depth because I've done videos, I believe, on all of these before. But I saw some positive catalysts. It was moving up. Uh, some people thought we bought in too late because the first time I bought in at $1.70, and it had already gone up like 100 or 200 percent. That's something that I think a lot of people see, and a lot of people give me a hard time for that, honestly, for buying stocks after they've already popped up 100 percent. But uh, the companies are in better positions. For example, some of these companies were at risk of being delisted, some of them need to raise money, uh, some of them I just hadn't heard about. So sometimes you get into them a little bit late, but since then, we were up about 69 percent now. I added more shares when I saw that they had a share offering. I, I actually was excited about that and I knew that it would dip, so I doubled my position. So we have 400 shares at a cost basis of $1.61. So far, we have about $446 of profit on this one. And this one was actually up around almost $4 today, I believe. I think it was getting close to that amount. I think it was around $3.85 at one point. So we were up a lot more at that point. Then we also have TMDI, a company I just bought to today and i talked about it in an earlier video i'll put that one up on the end screen but it's a medical device company again some positive catalyst a company that is 150 billion dollar company is licensing or is is paying tmdi time medical to use their products and they're paying them tens of millions of dollars so there was a positive catalyst there and there are just a couple other things that led me to want to buy it so i bought it today again another one they had it hadn't really seen much upward momentum until today, and I bought it when it was up about 30% or so. We bought it, though, knowing that it could go up further, and since then, we're up about 23%. Uh, I just had $150 or 150 shares of that one. So again, I'm not really willing to risk a ton of my portfolio on these penny stocks, but you can see a couple other ones. Planet 13. This one I got in back in March, and uh, again, it's funny how people will give you a hard time. Like, I... I listened to Jeremy's video, Jeremy from Financial Education, another big YouTuber on this, and he made a ton of videos on it. And I felt really good about the company and I got a lot of flack because people are saying I was just a bandwagoner. But heck, if it if it goes up 68%, I'll bandwagon all day. I don't care. So we bought 161 shares overall. Now my cost basis changed because I started getting it at $1.75 and then I bought more at $2.20 more at like $3 something, and then more at $4.20. So I wrote it up. I was just buying small amounts the whole time. At that point, my income wasn't quite what it is now, but we have a nice 68% return. Now, TSNP kind of shows the risks with penny stocks. So this one is a very small penny stock, and you know there are some other ones that I bought and sold along the way. So if you don't see one on this list that I said that I was buying, I 
probably sold it. <laughs> so TSNP is one that fell all the way down to, I think, seven cents after we bought it. We have a cost basis of about 31 cents. And this one I bought with just the cash I had left in my brokerage. I only had uh, 50 something dollars or $60 or something. And I just wanted this one because I felt like there's um, a huge amount of upside to this one. It's a fintech company, but also I, I couldn't buy it with more than what I had in the in cash in the account. And then as soon as I bought it, I was like, ah, I don't really want to put more risk in it. So, you know, this one isn't really going to make or break anything. I could lose $60 and feel fine with it, but it shows you, you know, it went down 70% after we bought it. If you bought then, you would be up like 200%. So again, it's just a risky thing to do investing in penny stocks. But again, you have to be willing to risk what you're putting in. Now, the last one that I bought, well, I have this one, I should say, uh, Ellis, which is pretty low. I've lost about 10% on this. Again, you'll see the ones that I lost a good amount on, I had a very small quantity in. Like, I, I was not buying very much because I didn't feel very strongly about it. Like, I bought it, but usually I say, like, okay, I feel really good about this one. I put in a larger amount. Or I don't feel so confident. I'm just buying a small amount to keep an eye on it. Uh, some of these, like TRXC, actually went up after we bought and sold it. So we got a 70 plus percent rate of return on TRXC, and that's gone up since there. So, uh, you know, this is not a perfect science, but you can see BNGO is our best performing one. And some of these aren't penny stocks anymore, but they very recently were. So, BNGO, we bought maybe a month ago. I bought 250 shares at a dollar and 25 cents average cost. And now we're up 533%. And you kind of have to be willing to ride the ups and downs with these. Like BNGO has gone up and down a lot, like 20, 30, 50, 100% swings in a day up and down. So you have to be careful. You have to be willing to take that if you're going to invest in penny stocks. But you also have to be able to evaluate, is it time to sell or not? So most of these I see as long-term holds. But uh, if you're day trading or swing trading, you have to pay attention to it a lot more. So those are just my thoughts on these companies. Again, I'll put up the video on TMDI on the end screen, but just be careful with these. Overall, if we look here, I have $500 in this one. I have $1,000 in this. So $1,500, I have another $1,000 in this. $2,500, pretty much nothing in this. $2,000 in BioNano, and then just $50 in that. So I have around $4,500, which is just over 5% of my investing portfolio. And I realized this could be very risky, but you know, some of these, my cost basis is not 5%. For example, BNGO, I have $1,600 worth of profits. Sens, I have $500 worth of profits. So when I put the money in, it was probably closer to a, I don't know, 2% or 3%. This is just to get some good gains. And then eventually, these could blow up. They could go up 50x, but you have to re uh, revisit these companies along the way. If you guys like this, please leave a thumbs up. Let me know if you want to see more of these in the future. You can kind of see some of my other holdings too, but I do hold a lot of companies right now, as you might be able to tell. Uh, it's just something that I do because I am doing this full time now. I'm a full time YouTube person, so I have more time to look at my investments. So that's something to consider too. If you guys want to get in on the action and know exactly what I'm buying and selling in real time, because you can see we had some really good gains. All of these are stocks that I've bought in the last 12 months. Most of them more recently. I think Planet 13 is really the only one that I had about eight or nine months ago. A lot of these or in the last two or three months, you can definitely check out the link down below to Patreon. I tell you exactly what I'm buying and selling there. So definitely check that out. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. And if you want to check out the Weeble, it's down below. Otherwise, check out this video on TMDI. I think it's really worth watching. Thank you guys, and I'll see you here.